Today's story is about an eerie encounter during a camping trip from the school. The summer holiday had just begun and a group of excited students from the Loka. L High School were eagerly planning their annual school trip. This year, the chosen destination was a remote camping site near a secluded river and surrounded by towering mountains. The idea of spending a week in the wilderness, away from the hustle and bustle of the city, was an exciting prospect for the group. Little did they know that their trip would turn into a horror story that they would never forget. The school trip started off as a typical excursion, with the students and teachers setting up camp and enjoying the beautiful scenery. The crystal clear river and majestic mountains Pravi, dead the perfect backdrop for their adventure. However, as the sun began to set, the atmosphere started to change. The once cheerful group suddenly became quiet and uneasy. The usually brave students s. started to feel a sense of unease and the teachers couldn't shake off the feeling that they were being watched. As the night descended, the group gathered around the campfire, trying to shake off the eerie feeling that had taken over them. However, their efforts were futile as strange noises started to echo through the campsite. The sound of footsteps crunching on the gravel and branches snapping could be heard, but no one could be seen. The students and teachers tried to brush it off as the sounds of nocturnal animals, but deep down they knew something was not right. The campfire was the O. N L Y source of light in the dark wilderness, and the longer the night went on, the more it seemed to flicker and dim. The flame would inexplicably dim whenever someone would mention the word, ghost. The students laughed it off thinking it was just a coincidence, but the teachers couldn't ignore the unnerving feeling that was creeping up on them. As the night progressed, more and more strange occurrences started to happen. Tents were found in disarray, with no explanation as to how they got that way. Personal belongings started to disappear, and some of the students claimed to have seen shadowy figures lurking in the woods. The teachers, who were trying to keep calm and maintain order, couldn't deny that something sinister was happening. The next day, the group decided to go on a hike in the mountains. The fresh air and beautiful scenery were a welcome distraction from the events of the previous night. However, their peaceful hike was cut short when they came across an abandoned and dilapidated cabin. Some of the students recognized it from the stories they had heard about the area. According to the legend, a family had lived there many years ago, but they were brutally murdered by a jealous neighbor. As they explored the abandoned cabin, the students and teachers couldn't shake off the feeling that they were being watched. It was then that they heard it, a shrill scream coming from inside the cabin. Some of the students were too scared to enter, but a group of brave ones, accompanied by their teachers, decided to investigate. What they found inside was beyond their wildest nightmares. The walls were splattered with blood, and there was a handwritten note that read, You're next. At this point, the entire group was terrified, and they quickly made their way back to the campsite. However, things took an even more terrifying turn when they realized that their camp was no longer there. All their belongings, including their food supplies and tents, had vanished into thin air. The group felt trapped and helpless, with no way to call for help as their phones had also disappeared. As the night fell, the students and teachers huddled together in the abandoned cabin, trying to come up with a plan to survive the night. They could hear the sound of footsteps and whispers coming from outside, and they knew that they were not alone. They were being haunted by the G, hosts of the family who were murdered in that very cabin. The next morning, the group was rescued by a search team that had been sent by their worried parents. As they were being taken back home, the why couldn't help but wonder if it was all just a nightmare. However, the markings of blood on their clothes and the handwritten note were proof that it was all too real. The school trip that was Supo, said to be a fun and adventurous experience turned into a horror story that none of them would ever forget.
The teachers and students who survived the ordeal couldn't help but feel grateful for their lives. From that day on, the camping site near the river and mountains remained abandoned, with people too scared to venture near it. The horrifying events of that trip would always serve as a warning, never underestimate the power of the supernatural.